if the price moves down more than 10%, you would have taken your USDT uh, that is in your liquidity position and used it to uh, to fill Bitcoin orders. So people trying to swap Bitcoin for USDT. And if it goes all the way outside of your range, now you're only holding Bitcoin because you've used all of the USDT that you've provided to your liquidity position to fill Bitcoin orders. And the inverse of that is if the price was to pump and go above 10% of the current price, you would be outside of your 10% range and you would have taken all of the wrapped BTC that you have in your liquidity position and filled USDT orders with it. So now you'll be holding 100% USDT. And this... Uh, yeah. I just... Uh... Uh, I kind of want to back up just a little bit and and um, kind of explain for the for the viewers. And I'm not sure I'm 100 percent correct on this, but I, I've always thought since I heard about the uh, the pancake swap V3 and how that works and the algorithm that you've innovated and developed for for V3 pan, um, Animal Farm, uh -huh. then the way I've always thought of it is if you're providing liquidity on V2 you're sharing all the trading fees with everybody else in the pool. But if you're providing liquidity on V3, you're providing liquidity only within a narrow price range. And so there, therefore, you don't have to share those trading fees with everybody else in the entire pool, only the people that are also in that price range. Is that is that kind of a good way of explaining it or or, or no, am I off base there? That's a good way to explain it. I would say one other thing to consider is you could be uh in the same range as someone else, meaning that they're providing liquidity within that range and you are providing that liquidity within that range as well. But if you have the same dollar amount in the liquidity position and your range is tighter than them, for example, I was just saying giving this example if player a has a hundred dollars let's say in a 10 percent range of the current price and you have a liquidity position uh of a hundred dollars uh. at a five percent range you're both providing liquidity within that five percent range but you have all of your capital concentrated within that five percent range so mm -hmm. you're providing twice as much capital to the current trading that's happening within that range. So you're collecting twice the trading fees that that person that's providing a 10% range, dollar oh, for wow. dollar. Oh, wow. Yeah, right? I see. 